All right, so we looked at four fallacies last time, um, four mathematical results that are paradoxical because they seem to hold together logically, but then when you get to the end, you get something which is completely bogus and doesn't make any sense at all, okay? So how does this make sense? Um, what's the hole in the logic, which is why you get to a false result uh, at your final line, okay? Now, you can see some of the lines are really obvious and you can tell that there's no problems there, okay? So for example, uh, going from this line to this line, clearly there's no issues. You can multiply both sides by A, no problems, okay? In much the same way, uh, line seven to eight, for instance, um, there's no issues because you can divide both sides by B, that's not gonna cause you any problems, okay? So clearly it's somewhere here in the middle. As it turns out, it is exactly in the middle, okay? So where is the problem line? Here it is, right here. Okay, so the question then becomes, why is this line a problem? Or why is the transition between those two lines a problem? And the reason why is you've got to think carefully about what's happening. What has changed from line four to line five is that I am dividing. But what am I dividing by? Right? After I factorized, to go from this line to this line, I have to divide by this common factor, A minus B. Right? That's how I end up with just B here and just A plus B over here. Okay? But that's sneaky, right? What's the reason why you can't divide by a minus b? What is a minus b? You'd think, I don't know, because a and b are random numbers. They're not random numbers. They're equal numbers, right? So if you look at this line, which was our starting point, our foundation, right? a minus b is equal to zero. And we've already looked at earlier this year the fact that division by zero causes logically inconsistent results, okay? So sneaking division by zero uh, into the logic, but doing it in a sort of subtle way that's not so obvious, that's the way a lot of these uh, fallacy proofs work, okay? So here's the problem from line four to line five, division by zero is why it doesn't work, 